Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your January 2022 love tarot reading. It's been a hot minute since I've done a strictly love reading, but I've been getting a lot of requests for it, so here we are. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome, Badison Intuitive Tarot, happy to have you here. If you're looking to book a private reading, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below this video. However, my website has been acting kind of wonky lately, so if it gives you any error messages or tells you I'm not available, I am. So just reach me via email and we'll book through there. Okay? Now, if this reading resonates and you want me to dive in deeper, the link to the extended will be in the description box below as well. So with that being said, let's get to your reading. What do we have for Sagittarius in love, please, for January 2022? What is their tarot message for Sagittarius in love? One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Saggies. Okay, so let's see what's coming into your recent past with you and whoever you could be dealing with. We have the King of Cups. This is Pisces energy, but it's also Cancer and Scorpio. So a lot of love between you and another person in the recent past. Let's see what's going on in the current situation. The High Priestess. This is Pisces energy again, but also Cancerian. With the High Priestess being the current situation, um, there's a lot of silence going on right now or just two people trying to go within and figure out how to move forward using one's intuition, keeping things to themselves, okay? Now, what's on your person's mind in regards to you? What are they thinking about when they think about you? The devil, Capricorn energy. You might have someone that's a bit fixated on this right now, and I feel like it's because of the silence. You see, we've all been in this type of situation where we don't know what's going on with another person because we're not really communicating with them. So the more we think about them and wonder what's going on in their world, we get like really wrapped up to where we wake up, we think about them. We go to eat lunch, we are thinking about them. We go to lay down to go to bed, we're thinking about them. So someone can't get you off of their mind right now, Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like they're really attached to this for some reason. Now, how are they viewing you? The lovers, Gemini energy, they're viewing you as a very intense soul tie connection that they're having trouble breaking free from. You see how these two people are kissing and there's that snake wrapping these two people up tightly? This person feels like no matter how much they try to break free from the connection, something pulls them back in, like a magnet. Okay, so they're viewing you as someone that they can't seem to get um, off their mind, in which we did see that with the devil energy, okay? There might be a, a decision that needs to be made. All right, there might be another person involved because the lover sometimes does represent choices that need to be made. So they may be viewing you as needing to make a choice to let go of a past person to be with them, okay? Now, how do they feel about you deep down? The Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. With the Six of Wands being how they feel about you deep down, they're wanting to overcome some sort of challenge with you. Because what goes right before the Six of Wands is the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is the energy of drama, fighting, arguing, competition, jealousy, rivals, other people being in the mix. And they want to overcome that and they want to, they want to gain victory and success and get the ball back in their hand, okay? And you look at this card, it shows a man in a wheelchair saying, hey, I know I've been through some challenges in my life, but I'm not going to be a victim. I'm going to overcome this. Okay, I'm going to beat the odds. So this person wants to beat the odds with you is basically what I feel. So what do they want moving forward with you, Sagittarius? The Eight of Wands, they want you to talk to them. They want you to talk to them with the Eight of Wands. And you see how this woman in this card looks like she's moving forward to her future, really wanting to get, get away from the past and move towards the future, but we don't see who the mystery person is that is being held in someone's hand, okay? So you may not be sure if you wanna bring this person with you to your future. You may feel very un, unsure of your feelings or what you want, things like that, but you know you want to hold on to some sort of um, love, okay? Now, this person could be at a distance from you right now. You guys could be um, having like random text messages um, back and forth from time to time. But right now, I feel like there's a lot of silence between you guys. Okay? But they, they want to talk to you. They want to break the silence. Now, what's the hidden challenge in all this, Sagittarius? 
the Queen of Cups. With the Queen of Cups being the hidden challenge, this is telling me that someone's not opening up. Someone's not being vulnerable. Somebody is closing off their cup for whatever reason. Now, as a reader, anytime I see the Queen of Cups in a reading, it, it, that speaks of mutual love between you and another person. So I feel like there's deep love here. And look, now we have the King and Queen of Cups. So there's deep love that ha that is felt here, but with this being in the challenge, one person's not opening up to the other person. Someone is not getting on the same page with another. Someone's not revealing their true feelings. Someone is keeping something stuck. Okay, again, whether there's a person in another person's life that hasn't let the other go so that they can move on in a new path or someone is just scared of their feelings scared to really get those feelings raw and out in the open okay so what is the potential outcome i'll get the advice and then i'll, I'll be, begin to clarify the potential outcome the page of pentacles communication there's going to be communication now i see the page of pentacles um sometimes as an apology card. So there might be an apology that's being given, um, whether you're the sender or the receiver, or there's just going to be a peaceful resolution here, whether you guys end up talking it out and staying friends or talking it out and offering a new opportunity for you guys to build, but you're gonna take it slowly because the Page of Pentacles is the energy of planting that seed and allowing it to slowly grow because that's what Earth Energy does. It slowly grows. And it's the energy of making short-term plans. So I feel like if you were to accept this person back into your life, or they, you, I feel like there's a desire to want to take things slow and not make long-term plans. For example, you guys will be open to making like short-term plans where you, you guys may be like, hey, in two weeks, let's go and rent a cabin somewhere. Versus, hey, a year from now, let's do X, Y, and Z. Someone here doesn't want to make any long-term plans just yet because they're not so sure about what's going on in their life and they want to take things slow. So what's your advice? The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords being your advice is the energy of not getting too in your head. Not overthinking the situation, okay? Because once you get in your head and you start fixating on a, a negative thing, all of a sudden that negative thing piles up into something bigger than it needed to be and you become trapped in your head. And it's similar to what I felt for your person with their thoughts being the devil. All right, the more you get in your head and you fixate on something, the more it becomes a, an obsession. And you, you get like locked in to this love situation. You see how that lock is in the shape of a heart? I feel like this is what happened with your person. They were overthinking a situation and then it became an obsession. So they're advising you to not go down that route because this will just like weigh you down heavenly. Okay, if you got something you want to say to somebody, say it. Okay, don't, don't put it off to where it becomes bigger than it needs to be is what I feel. What's the overall energy? The Ace of Swords, communication. And I do have the Ten of Wands here, which is telling me that Sagittarius, you feel so exhausted right now. You feel so exhausted about what's going on in your love life. You're just wanting clarity. Whether you're finding clarity within yourself or finding clarity with this person, you just, you're just you wanting clarity so that you can release those burdens and, and feel some sort of relief. You don't like feeling like this. You don't. And you see how there's that archway of books? This is telling me that you're really wanting to learn more about a situation, okay, so that you can have a new path for yourself. All right, I feel like you're just feeling the weight of the world going on your shoulders right now because of love and love is just, I feel like I'm picking up on a Sagittarius that's like, you know what, I gotta ignore love right now and focus on my work, focus on my, my kids if you have any, focus on you because you're feeling burnt out. You're feeling burnt out. Now this could all also be vice versa. This could be, you know, for how your person feels. Okay, so let's just dig in. Why is the King of Cups in the recent past for Sagittarius and their love interest? Why is the King of Cups in the recent past for Sagittarius and their love interest? Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? The Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, I see what I'm, I'm, I'm getting it here now. I'm getting it. Now, in the recent past, you and this person both felt like each other was your wish fulfillment. You, you both thought about each other night and day. There was a lot of love here, a lot of love, but then something happened with that tower that changed 
everything scorpionic energy. So this could have been a recent breakup between you guys or something came out that was hidden or there was some sort of other shocking revelation. And with the Six of Cups in reverse, this is the energy of someone looking at the whole situation going, no, I can't. This is reminding me too much of my past and I don't want to relive my past. Okay, I, I, got, I got to ignore that. So I don't know if that's you, Sagittarius, or the person that you're dealing with. Someone felt like a situation was becoming too familiar to a situation that they left in the past because it was too, too much to handle. So someone panicked and just abandoned ship. That's what I'm getting off of this, Sagittarius. I, I just don't know if it's you or your person. Someone here, even though there was a lot of love, a lot of emotions being developed, something triggered someone's... Um, uh, like unlock the memory, unlock the memory from something else that happened previously and someone didn't want to relive something. For example, say you were on a date with somebody and uh, they made a, a reference to a cute girl walking by, by you guys at the restaurant table. Um, that may have unlocked a memory of a past relationship with someone that did something similar but th that led to cheating. Now even though this this person didn't do anything like cheat or anything like that. Just the thought that they made a comment about another person walking by triggered a memory of what happened previously. It's something like that. Something like that where this person triggered some sort of red flag or that was what happened with you. And someone called the connection quits um, in panic mode. Or there's someone from someone's past that came back and you know interfered with the three of swords. Okay. Like um, you, you and this person were off to a good start and then someone's past person wouldn't leave the connection alone so that you guys can have something prosperous and created some sort of conflict. Whether it was a jealous ex of your own or your, your person's ex, someone didn't want you guys to have a happy new start, Ace of Cups. Why is that ice, the High Priestess here for the current situation? Why is the High Priestess here for the current situation? The Three of Swords and the Devil. Look at that. Right now there's a lot of silence and you both are feeling really heartbroken right now with the Three of Swords and it's telling me that you both are fixating on this with the devil energy. You both want to see some sort of change here and you're both trying to use your intuition with the High Priestess to have some sort of success here but there's something that is like scaring you both. I'm strongly getting that there was a third party interference. now. Third parties don't have to be romantic, you guys. Third parties can be um, someone working too much, someone wanting to focus on their money, someone really emotionally unavailable, or a meddling family member, or an, an ex. Why is the devil coming up as your person's thoughts on this? Why is the devil coming up as your person's thoughts on this? Please rock that like button. The King of Wands, so it could be another fire sign, such as Leo, Aries, or yourself. I do have the Knight of Swords and I have the Three of Cups. Gemini energy. This is someone that really wants to reach out and has some sort of reunion with you, okay? But they don't know how you will respond to their message or vice versa. You see how that cat looks like really frustrated and he's going after that bird? Okay, I don't know who's the frustrated cat here. Is it you or this person? Someone here wants to reach out and message the other person but is worried about how the other person is going to respond to said message. Okay, because there is a desire to have some sort of union with the Three of Cups. Someone wants to date. Someone wants to celebrate life with somebody. Someone wants to take some sort of action with that King of Wands and possibly have a fresh new start with the Fool. Why is the Lover's Card how they view you right now? Why do they view Sagittarius as the lovers? That's major for Gemini. You might have something very intense with somebody where it's a lot of start stops. It's hard to let this connection go. You might feel like it's not good for you. Why is the lovers here for how they view Sagittarius? The Six of Swords, okay? And the King of Pentacles on the bottom. They view you as getting out of the situation and moving on and trying to distance yourself Okay, and focus on your money, focus on your stability. If you have kids, you're taking good care of your kids. But they're viewing you as not really wanting to invest in this anymore. They're viewing you as possibly feeling drained and defeated. I mean, look at this cat. He looks like he's been, you know, he's been through the ringer. And what he's walking away from is the five of swords back here. Okay, which is all about 
competition, conflict, deception, you know, people not being completely authentic, fighting. All right. And you just being like, you know what, no matter how much I love you, I can't deal with this right now. Okay. Or you're being viewed as removing yourself from a situation that was starting to get a little bit too hectic because of other people being involved. Okay. Yeah, I'm strongly getting that possibly you have someone from your past that was trying to get back in your life and uh, they threw a curveball in the connection between you and this person to the point where you're like, you know what, I've had enough. I can't deal with love right now. Love is just too tricky. All right, so why is the Six of Wands how they feel about you? Why is the Six of Wands for how this person feels about Sagittarius, please? Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This person feels like you are faded in their life and that they want to see some sort of huge change take place with the Wheel of Fortune because they still see you as family. They see, they're, they're still fantasizing about life with you, Ten of Cups. You see, the Ten of Cups is the energy of daydreaming about what life would be like with you and it. What, what it would be like to have kids with you, to have a home with you, to you know, share the mundane stuff with you. This person's fantasizing about what it would be like to be with you, but they know something needs to change. Something needs to change. And this person may be also viewing you as a karmic cycle or where they feel like they met you to teach them something about themselves and vice versa. But someone's ignoring something with the Two of Swords. Someone is putting something off um, and procrastinating or someone's not seeing how bad a situation really is in front of them, two of swords, okay? And with that hangman being here, I feel like something is stuck in limbo right now. Something's stuck in limbo where two people don't know what the heck is happening with this connection and ignoring something, of avoiding making a decision and creating some sort of delay. Why is the eight of wands what they want with Sagittarius moving forward? The Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, they want something balanced with you. They want a decision made. They want to um, choose a new direction. This card came out too, Three of Wands. Wow, and that hanged me out again. This person really wants to communicate with you, but they feel like a decision needs to be made. They feel like they're, they're waiting on something and starting to lose hope. Or well, that's you. Someone here is really waiting on something to be uh, equal and th someone's getting worried that this is all a waste, that this is going to be wasted love. Why is the Queen of Cups the hidden challenge here? Why is the Queen of Cups the hidden challenge? The Eight of Wands wanted to come out. The Queen of Wands and the Seven of Swords. The hidden challenge here is someone's not being completely honest about something. Okay, sometimes the Queen of Wands can represent the other person in the mix as the interference. And there's the Eight of Wands that wanted to come out. So with the Queen of Cups being in the hidden challenge, someone's being very closed off emotionally, not telling someone how they feel. And um, there's also some sort of deception surrounding another person in the mix. Like, um, for example, if this person broke up with you or stopped responding to your messages. The reasons why they stopped responding wasn't the real reason. It was something else. All right, whether it's, you know, someone came back around from their past and now they're feeling confused about what they want with you or this is something you did because the Queen of Wands is your energy. Why is the Page of Pentacles the potential outcome? Why is the Page of Pentacles the potential outcome? The star in the higher fit. All right, you're gonna get some sort of peaceful outcome here, okay? Like I said earlier, whether it's peaceful resolution with this person where you guys make up and you guys are friends again, or where you guys can rebuild, but rebuild slowly, someone here is getting their wish granted, okay? And I feel like there's an energy of wanting to um, commit to what you believe in. Commit to someone that you share values with. Why is the Eight of Swords your advice? The Emperor and the Empress. Whoa. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Judgment. 
Now, judgment is the energy of being self-aware, self-aware to a situation. It's also the energy of forgiving and learning and regaining control over the situation. I feel like there's communication coming in for you, Sagittarius, um, where you're really going to feel a little bit confused about how to proceed with this person, but I feel like you're going to know exactly what to do. You're going to know exactly what to do, and I can't tell you what to do. Spirit can't tell you what to do. The cards can't tell you what to do. You're going to have to use your own um, intuition and better discernment about what's going on here. But I feel like you're going to have all the clarity you need to make a, a very important decision. Okay? I feel like something is coming towards you that's going to bring a lot of uh, epiphanies for you where you're going to be like, all right, I know what to do now. I know what to do now. Look at that. Recovery and big happy changes. This is my Four of Swords, and this is my Wheel of Fortune. We got the Wheel of Fortune right here. There's some sort of um, a positive change heading your way. Something is turning out in your favor, whether it's with this person or you're, you're gaining some sort of clarity about your love life overall that's really going to help you move forward in life. Please rock that like and subscribe button. I love you guys. I got Reconsider on the bottom. I got look for a sign and get more information, okay? And I have helpful people, which is my three of cups. Maybe go and talk with friends right now during this time. Get some advice from people that you really trust and who you really care about and you know care about you. All right, let me get some romance angels. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. There's going to be some sort of opportunity coming in where you're going to have to make a decision and you're going to have to use your intuition and your better discernment, okay? Look at that. Let your friends help you. And I just said that with the, with the Helpful People card. Reach out to your friends during this time. I feel like you, you've got a good group of people that really want to be there for you that will help you during this time. All right, so I've got every zodiac sign on this board, but I got Gemini strongly, I have Leo, I have Aries, I have Aquarius, I have Taurus, I have Libra, and Pisces, okay, and Capricorn. So if this resonated, I'll get extra nosy in the extended, but if this is where I leave you, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you want to book a private, the link to my website is down below. Bye.